Hey guys, welcome back. And today I am at my house and I am so tired from yesterday at the chili cook off. And I today when I woke up, I went and I did a hair and nail salon. And I did it to my friend Alicia and my sister Taylor. And um, I got my nails done for my friend Andreana. It's Taylor's friend. But we went to go spend the night at her house. And Taylor left. I had a half an hour before I had to leave. So Andreana painted my nails. And she painted my toenails and my fingernails natural color. Natural color and on my toes, pink, and then sprinkly over top. And, uh, um, we're listening to scary movies, or we're watching scary shows on YouTube. And, um, they're in... Alicia and Taylor are in my room back there, back there, and I just didn't go in there because they don't want me to put them on camera, at least Alicia doesn't, so I'm not going to put her on camera, and let's go up, because it stinks in here, we're going to go into my room, my room it's a mess from the hair and nails so on we're watching that mr nightmare story two it was christmas eve of 2015 i had recently gotten a new job as a psychiatric nurse but I had to start with the overnight shifts, and that included Christmas Eve morning, which was a Thursday. Well, technically it was a Friday by the time I arrived to work. But anyway, most of my shifts are slow and boring, with a lot of sitting around a computer for most of the night. And most of the patients that's are our scary the hours story that, that we're watching. I have to check on patients and observe their behavior. And if you can see the behind there, it's the ceiling. In the of the night. And the window and the door. Dealing with so many people um, with mental disabilities at once was a lot to take in at first. But the Christmas decorations scattered throughout the building um, brought a little extra cheer to the place. At night, the main lights I liked in the hall my dad's chill last night. Turn on. I just These dim that lights up. mixed with the Christmas lights. And by the way, there's tons the of voice I couldn't even understand why there had to be that much. There was one name. Um, R. No, she was an old sickly Yeah, RJ. She oftentimes would mumble to herself um, incomprehensible things. And sometimes she'd say things uh, out loud that I'd assume were directed at me, but she'd just be talking to herself. It was about three in the morning when I went to go check on Abitha, who had been awake the whole night. I came in I and asked if she needed anything. She just looked at me with a horrific smile and laughed. It gave me chills because I felt like I was witnessing something from a scary movie. She looked away from me and started muttering something. I didn't understand most of it, but the words that did pop out to me were, check the bathroom. Um, I, I forget who else. Herself, she didn't acknowledge me. Uh, a boy named she Trevor that was on the phone with me yesterday. On the pillow. I um, tried to get her to confirm she wanted me to check the bathroom, but she wouldn't answer I forget that. who else. I don't so know. I checked the bathroom across from her bed in her room. And... But as I expected, there was sorry. nothing out of the ordinary. I left her room and went back to my desk in the hall. Then I looked at the bathroom door across from my desk. My curiosity got the better of me, so I went into I'm the right bathroom to the light. I stood by the doorway Virginia, listening for a moment, I and I heard breathing and a click sound from one of the stalls. I went to get the door stopper from behind the desk and wedged it under the bathroom door so that the light from the hall would let me see at least a little bit into the bathroom. I got on my knees and checked under the stalls from a distance. No feet could be seen in either of the stalls, though. One stall of the two had its door shut, though. I went up to it and stuck my eye through the crack of the door. It was really dark, but I felt like I could see something at the back of the stall. I got back down on my knees I'm to look under the door. What it looked like. When I did, I couldn't see what I thought I could see. And now we're going out of the room. 
Sorry, what I heard that. So we're gonna go through here into the room. Say hi. Say hi. That's my dad. And we're going to the dining room. There was a little girl named London here yesterday, and she forgot her little Paw Patrol. I feel so bad. She carried it around everywhere. And so we have it back with us. And um, Brooklyn's asleep. Taylor, Alicia, awake. Bobby. I just had to paint that girl's nails. That's why there's no posture left. So we're going on top of my bed. Ah, <laughs> ah, that hurts. Can you throw this down there, Alicia? You catch that? Okay, thank you. Um, you want to hear guys a joke? Knock, knock. Um. Orange. Orange. The oranger. That didn't make no sense. Knock, knock. Banana. Banana la. That doesn't even make sense. That keeps not making sense. Okay. Knock, knock. Dwayne. Dwayne the tub, I'm drowning. Now that makes sense. Doesn't it? Doesn't it make sense? That like, makes so much sense. Wonder when I was coming. Where is she? She's still not here. When are you gonna want to get on the camera? Never. The the vlog's gonna end. And it ends at fourteen minutes. Well, bye for now, for not, bye for now, I'm missing it up, bye for now, but not forever, spend time with your dad, bye.